The following video covers proper zip system flashing tape installation of inside and outside corners when using zip system sheathing and tape. The most effective way to install an inside corner is to work in sections starting at the bottom. Roll out approximately one arm's length of zip system flashing tape. Give the tape a sharp snap to create a curl in the tape, which makes it easier to install. Work from one side of the corner to the other using a plastic speed square to smooth the tape into position. A metal speed square can sometimes cut the tape with its sharp edges. Allowing for a minimum 3 inches of overlap, shingle install the next piece of tape over the bottom piece and work yourself up to the top of the wall. When you're done placing the tape, roll it using a zip system tape roller. One installation error to be avoided is creating a radius on an inside corner when installing zip system flashing tape. The installer of the exterior cladding system will be unable to install finished claddings tightly into the corner and will most likely cut through the tape to get a tight fit for the corner trim piece. Cutting through the tape compromises the continuity of the weather-resistive barrier. Outside corners require special attention as well, especially when using different thicknesses of R sheathing. Normally, sheathing is installed flush to the edge of the wall framing. Because of its relatively thin profile, with traditional sheathing, no adjustment is made for the exposed edges of the wall sheathing when they meet at an outside corner. When using Zip System R sheathing, the thickness of the sheathing must be taken into account during installation. One edge of the sheathing at an outside corner must be extended to cover the exposed edge of the sheathing on the adjacent wall. If not installed correctly, a large gap occurs at the corner, making installation of Zip System flashing tape and outside corner trim difficult for the cladding installer. Here is a properly installed outside corner using Zip System R sheathing. The taping process for Zip System R sheathing outside corners varies depending on the thickness of the R sheathing. For R3 and R6 sheathing, use one or two layers of 4 inch tape with a 1 inch overlap, or one piece of 6 inch tape. Roll the tape. A minimum of 1 inch of surface contact on the face of the Zip System sheathing is required. For Zip System R9 and R12, use 6 inch tape. Roll the tape. Note that your wall sheathing and stud layout may be affected depending on the thickness of our sheathing used. Find more technical tips and product information by visiting youtube.com forward slash zip system sheathing.